my god! That's a clip. I'm going crazy. Hey everyone. So I personally hate when videos drag on, like the promo code and drags on. You have to look for it randomly in the video. I'm not gonna do that, you guys. In the very beginning of the video is gonna be the promo code that I like. I created the mini like TikTok kind of clip. It's less than a minute long. Uh, we're gonna play in the, the beginning of the video. And if you guys do want to see the highlights of the actual stream, just stick stick after that little uh, after the promo code, and you're gonna see the stream highlights with commentation from me and my brother. Hey everyone, it's Sati Streams. Here's the promo code for today's live stream from MCOC. So the promo code is June 14 live stream. So now for those of you guys who don't know how to get there, I'm going to show you really quick. You're going to open it up a tab then you're going to type store dot play contest of champions dot com like that. So I'm already logged in, but I will log out and you're going to go log. You're going to go and log into your account, right? Once you're logged into your account. So right now I actually just tried to log in but it says widget loading failed. I just did it, but I know that the website just crashed because there's a lot of people on it. But feel free to check out throughout the day. You have 24 hours to activate this promo code. So make sure to go to store.playcontestofchampions.com, scroll down a promo code, put in your promo code, and get your free rewards. And keep in mind, it's only 24 hours, so I, I'm uploading this video as fast as I can so you guys have as much time as possible. I'll see you guys later. Hey everyone, it's Santi Streams. So I kind of, I kind of messed up. I, I was shooting this video with my brother. He he hadn't seen the video uh, prior. Um, I, we, I when I showed him, I you know I showed him everything that happened in the in the previous live stream, and I didn't press. I didn't realize that I, I didn't press record. So we went through the whole thing. I was like, okay, nice. That was a, we did that in one take. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I forgot to press record. So we're gonna be going over all of everything that happened on the live stream. Um, we're gonna be going over together. He's on Discord with me. Say hi. Uh, hey, this guy made me watch the whole live stream. We went through every single thing carefully, broke it all down. It was a very good video. He's like, all right, talk to you guys later. I forgot to hit record. My bad, <laughs> bro. I, I, he's like, he's like, all right, let's run it back. I was like, no, bro, we gotta be transparent. We, I already saw this. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna fake a reaction. We'll, we'll just talk about all the changes. But, but yeah, it, it's, it's a banger update. We'll, we'll, let, let's get through it. Yeah. <laughs> all right. So, uh, talking about the update, right? So John from the design team, he mentioned that they're they're trying to change the game and they're trying to steer it more into, uh, I guess, just more player friendly. I would say. Um, especially, you know, uh, I think it was Kabam Mike that he just recently left. So I feel like they're doing a lot of stuff in in the community to try to keep us engaged. Um, so one of the biggest wait, Kabam Mike left? Yeah, Kabam Mike left uh, two weeks ago. He, uh, he, or oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, I know. Pretty big change. Yeah, everybody on on Twitter was talking about it. Yeah, is, is the, are the unofficial Kabam Mike videos still gonna come out? Because that guy carries my my playthrough. I don't even think that they're the same right, people. Cool. Honestly, I think that the problem is just streamer. So uh, going back to the video, so we have the uh, simplicity, approachability, and clarity. So that's those are the three main goals that they want to make positive, uh, player-friendly changes for uh, the new arcade games. So going into it, so uh, starting up, starting up with battlegrounds. So Saga Chase Megatron. Magnetron crystals uh, move to objectives and the deathless piece will still require victory track completion So you have to complete the victory track and get the gladiator circuit to be able to get that deathless piece So now Battlegrounds this is a huge change um, So the entire the entire victory track is now plus two medals for a win Minus one medal for a loss. So anybody for who doesn't know about battlegrounds uh, before it used to be or I guess Just until recently until now it was always if you won one and you lost one, you were, you would just lose. You you kind of be stuck in that in that uh, like that limbo. And like I got stuck there for like I think all of like uh, vibranium two or something. I, I would win one, I'd lose one. I'd win one, I'd lose one. But now if you win one and you lose one, you're still climbing because you're getting two medals. And if you lose, you get you lose a medal, right? So you're always going positive. You're always as long as you have above, I would say I think maybe even a forty five percent win rate, you're gonna climb, which is really really good. Now, uh, let me tell you, as someone that doesn't really like to play Battlegrounds too much, you know, like I'd rather do other forms of content, I actually really like this change because that means you don't have to grind it out too hard to get the Gladiator Circuit. Yeah, well said. Yeah, I feel like it's just a positive change overall, like super, super good uh, Battleground change. So now, to, yeah. co to accommodate this change, we added medals, tiers, and rewards across the victory track and changed seating. 
So now you get an extra 9,400 total trophy tokens just for hitting Gladiator Circuit. That's really important because uh, you could go grab those 9,400 and just take them to the Battleground store and just buy stuff. And it's the same, you know, it's the same amount of reward. Just, uh, I mean, it's the same amount of uh, effort, but more reward. So that's always great. Now going into the tiers, right? So this is the most important thing. So we have. Uh, face out the way so yeah we have the different battlegrounds here so it starts all the way from bronze five so this is these are the medals that you need to progress to get to the next level so for bronze five you need zero because you're you're you know at the very bottom and to get to bronze four you need two bronze three you need two so going up you need you know different medals now where it changes is the odds right so if you have odd right so for example that's starting silver three you're gonna see your first odd number so if you well, let's say you win your first fight so that's already two you lose one fight right so now you're back down to one and then you win a fight you're, you you you're very able to move on so you you have a chance of missing or I, or I should say losing one fight and still being able to climb with the odd ones right so then uh, it goes from gold five gold four gold three and then plats we have all of plat we have diamond here and vibranium so vibranium it, it is it is steeper so you have five five six six and then seven to get to uh, gladiator circuit so i i think that this is a really cool positive change because yes it's gonna it's gonna take i think a little bit more uh a little bit more time to climb the ranks per se but i feel like it's just gonna be a lot easier to climb the ranks so I, i'd rather the easiness over the time aspect but that's just me what do you think Oh, sorry, I, I I was eating Lay's. I don't know. Um, yeah, no, no, it's a uh, it's pretty good rewards for the battlegrounds land. You you well said. Uh, less effort, more rewards, easier to climb. It's a uh, it's pretty good. It's a good change. I enjoy yeah. it. Another really cool change that I really like is that the daily super event. So talking about the daily super event. So what they're gonna be doing is they're gonna be uh, actually I think he. So they they were mentioning that they're gonna be removing the 24 hour like uh, a bunch of different crystals and everything like that right actually I think that's right I think that's further down yes right here so things that are gonna be removed is the 22 hour solo event milestone 22 hour solo event rank rewards seven hour so pretty much everything that's daily weekly and uh, hour or I guess say four hourly um, all of that's gonna get removed and it's gonna be tri uh, replaced with this new system the new daily super event. It'll be running from June 24th to July 22nd for uncollected and above. And then, so, yeah. you, uh, people were in, uh, I, I know the chat was like blowing up when they said, wait, you're going to be taking away our, our hourly crystals? You're gonna, and they were just freaking out. But in reality, it was a very positive change. Because now what they're going to do is their goal is to try to make people play every day and actually feel the progression, right? So um, let me just go up ahead. So yeah, here. So these, this is the super event. So from June 24th to July 22nd, you log in uh, onto Uncollected, or you, you log in onto Uncollected. You log in into MCOC, and whether as long as you're Uncollected or above, you're able to go and collect these rewards from the daily event, right? So milestone one, free Uncollected crystal. You get 10 ISO bricks. You get level two revive. You get 50,000 shards. And it keeps going, right? But now this is the biggest change. The biggest change is the your choice. You can choose whether you want. Uh, use it. I forgot. Uh, I think it's tier two alpha catalyst. I believe. Um, you can choose that. You can choose anything you want here, and then as well as down here. Now, what's really cool is you can choose. Uh, for example, as an uncollected player, you can choose seven star shards. And this event's gonna be running for thirty days. Thirty times hundred. That's three thousand shards right there as an uncollected player. That's pretty big. That's pretty huge. If I do say so myself, I, you know, when I was in collected, you know, obviously they didn't even have seven stars back then. But when I was in collected, even being able to see that many six stars was like, was crazy. So that that's the, that's really really huge change. They're, I feel like they're they're really, um, they're really diluting the seven star market. Like I, I'm starting to see seven stars all over my battlegrounds uh, matches now. But uh, it's also a good change because now I have a lot of seven stars. So it's kind of like you know, bittersweet, right? So going on to the next tier, we have Cavalier. We have the free Cavalier crystals. We have the 15 ISO bricks. We have level two revives, 60,000 shards. We have the free Cavalier crystal, 120,000 gold. That's something a lot of people were, were, 
weren't mentioning much about in chat but i actually found that really interesting because you log in every day for 30 days 120,000 gold like that that's gonna start adding up you know by the end of that you're gonna you're gonna have a lot so um same thing you're gonna be able to choose your reward down here and for the final milestone you can choose between 200 seven star shards five uh, six star six stones or a tier three alpha catalyst shards right so and on top of it you get that five uh, 1500 six uh, six star shards so really really solid really solid up next we have throne breaker we have 20 iso bricks we have level two revive we have 90,000 shards we have 150k gold and then these are the the rewards you can choose from and these are also the rewards you can choose from down here right so the milestone three so overall throne breaker really super super solid you know 2000 shards of 2006 star shards is always huge and uh, i feel like everybody's just gonna go for the, the seven star shards it's just i feel like that's just a move uh, nine times out of ten paragon next so we have the free paragon crystal 10 iso bricks level two revive we have shards we have money you know we have pretty much everything now here's the big change paragon you start seeing seven star shards right so all right, I, I i should say you saw the seven star shards before but you start seeing them in the milestone themselves so you get three thousand excuse me you get 375 seven star shards and you can choose a titan you can choose titan shard 16 six stones or a tier four or five uh class catalyst right fragments so overall really solid really solid and then last but not least valiant so valiant we have the free valiant crystals we have 15 iso bricks of the uh, tier 5 i believe level 2 revives then we also have 250k we have level 5 potions we have your choice over up here you have all of this down here you have 750 uh sensor shards you have 225 titan crystals you have this uh, sensor six stone or the tier four uh alpha catalyst or tier four uh, alpha catalyst i believe so overall really really solid um the one that i'm going to be going for personally is going to be the titan shards i feel like going for the titan shards just makes sense like it's just it's it's a crazy amount i mean we did the math i think it was let me just make sure yeah, so we did the math for the seven star. I mean, for the seven star Titan shards, you would get six thousand seven hundred and fifty if you collected every. If you were logged in every day and do, doing all the challenges every day for thirty days, you get six thousand seven hundred fifty. And then if you were to get the seven star shards, you would get twenty two thousand five hundred seven star shards. So it's actually it's actually a pretty great amount of seven star shards there. Um, you're gonna be able to open the seven star shard, and you're gonna be able to get one uh, one third of a Titan crystal. No, no comments. It's, uh, hold on, I'm just uh, talking to, to my wife. She's uh, about, the about the baby. Nor, nor. So we have the push further supply drop, right? So we have start Friday, June 21st, so and end Friday, June 28th. So this is um, this is really interesting. So in regards to the rewards, right? So we have starting from Conqueror to Thronebreaker. You have to log in every single day. You get day one. You get 2,000 uh, 2006 or shards. And so I'm not going to go into each individual one, but pretty much the highlights are the uh, primordial dust, <coughs> excuse me, the primordial dust, and the six star crystal. Now, for the paragon and valiant side, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> for the paragon and valiant side, we have the seven star, uh, seven star six, uh, excuse me, for the paragon and valiant side, we have the seven star crystal shards, we have tier six, uh, basic catalyst we have the tier four class uh, alpha catalyst i believe that's a six stone crystal if i'm not mistaken i believe those are two six stone crystals then we also have the selector we have 200 primordial dust and a seven star um seven star base crystal so overall huge huge rewards um and funny enough i chat i actually i actually went and trolled the chat during this time so uh, i'm gonna fast forward a little bit so during this time i was like okay let me see if i can bait the uh the community into saying uh into saying uh exclamation point push further. so let me see so as you can see i started it up here and i'm kind of trolling so i i started it up here so exclamation point push further i was the very first one who commented that right and then i went i wanted to see if anybody would fall and then we have goliath gladiators fall push further and then it just starts right it starts going going more and more and then before you know it it just barrels out to a full-on 
chat rate push further push further push further everybody just push further push further <laughs> i just started that i just wanted to troll and uh you know i wanted to see you know i want to see if it worked and it did <laughs> so it's pretty funny yeah it was a success yeah it was a success indeed so now sinister sentinel sideshow so this is going to be replacing the fourth of july deals uh or i guess not replacing but it's going to be this is what it's going to be called this time so sinister sentinel showdown so the structure is very similar to last year so pretty much the exact same way that it was last year proven to uncollected will see a new format for cash offers shared limits with web store means we are back to limit four for most offers tier four offer is different than the tier eight offer and you get a free copy of six star mr sinister depending on your progression right now last but not least is weapon x so this is if you have the buku bucks you got big money and you're able to spend it on kabam on, on, on giving it to to mclc if you're able to buy out all the deals you can get seven star weapon x that is huge he's a very good champion i believe he needs a dupe if i'm not mistaken um so you know you're gonna have to wait until you get him again but um before you can like take him to rank three or something but overall it's really solid champion he does a lot he is one of he's actually a champion that he, he came out really early in the game and he has aged wonderfully with the game so uh you know pretty pretty cool so uh now going on to my brother so what are your thoughts uh, on on the event uh no nah, the event's really good <laughs> you, you, you get good rewards all around the you get a seven star a full seven star crystal at the end it's just overall it's just really good rewards it's, it's, like you, you never complain about getting rewards for free. No, I agree. And, uh, I think, yeah. I agree. I feel like the 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 rewards uh, that they're giving the uncollected. Like I feel like the uncollected reward is actually insane. Like seven star crystals already as an uncollected player. Like I think my smallest account is uncollected. So uh, the fact that I'm gonna be able to get seven stars on that account is gonna be insane. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. Super super cool. But the Valiant rewards are really good. So yeah. if you guys haven't made the push to Valiant, definitely do it. If uh, if you guys need uh, like any any guys or tips for the for the final boss for 8.4 8.3, let us know. We can make a video on it or me because I'm the better mechanically gifted player between the both of us. <laughs> yeah right. Uh, but yeah, so you know the fights when when you when you just get the the gist of it, they're, they're not that bad to do. So, but yeah, if you guys need a help, just leave a comment that you you, know, you want a, a tips and tricks video, and we'll definitely come up with one. Sounds good. So I want to say thank you guys so much for sticking to the end of the video. If you guys uh, liked, if you guys liked the live stream, if you guys like the promo code, I, I made a little short little TikTok on it. And it should be up on my page already. Um, if you guys do, do like this kind of content, please let me know in the comment section below. So that way for the next live stream, I can do another video like this. That's kind of like the highlights of it. Let me know in the comment section below what your thoughts on the event and what you're in for. And if you're, you know, you're going to climb to the next tier, the next progression tier to be able to get those rewards. And yeah, so I'll see you guys in the next video.